Hey guys, I'm Alex Feisley, and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of setting up NetMaker on DigitalOcean. So why would I want to set up NetMaker? Well, here I've got a project that I'm calling Global Infra. And on Global Infra, I have three droplets, one in Frankfurt, one in London, one in Singapore. And I also have a database in Singapore. I would like all these droplets to be able to securely connect with each other as if they're in the same VPC so that they can work together. I'd also like for my droplets in Frankfurt and London to be able to access the Singapore DB. This way we're creating a very distributed infrastructure that's very flexible and allows us to work in a lot of different environments. So to give you a quick summary of what that looks like, NetMaker provides a global overlay over all of your droplets so that they have secure connections with each other. In addition, it can be used for accessing services like databases or Kubernetes clusters, and also accessing things like edge devices or other clouds even. Any device outside of your DigitalOcean account could also be tied into this. So let's go ahead and deploy this. So to start, let's go to the marketplace. And I'm going to search for NetMaker here. And there we go. We're going to go ahead and create a NetMaker droplet. The requirements here are pretty small. You just need a droplet with at least a gig of memory and a CPU, ideally. And I'll give it a name. OK. And let's go ahead and deploy that. Now, while that's deploying, the one other thing you're going to want to keep in mind is you're going to want DNS for this droplet. So wherever it actually ends up with its IP address, you're going to want a DNS name. And there we go. We're creating our record. And cool. So to get started, all we have to do is SSH to this droplet. All right, here we are. And it automatically gets going with our installer. It's going to ask us if we want to use that auto-generated domain or a custom domain. We're going to use the custom domain. OK. And it asks us if we want to, or it asks us what that custom domain is. So ours is nm-demo.netmaker.io. And you can see all these domains that it's going to need to have. So we're going to say yes. And next, we need to set up a license key. So you log in to dashboard.license.netmaker.io. And then once you signed in, you'll have a free license key right here. So I can go ahead and copy that and paste it in. And we need the account ID, which is right here at the bottom. It's the user ID. So go ahead and grab that, paste that in, and an email address. And this can be any address. It's just an address for uh, Let's Encrypt to use for your domain. Go ahead and enter that. And we've got all of our details here. Make sure that all looks correct. And once we confirm it, we go ahead and run our installation. So there we go. We now have our server set up and we get a URL we can log into. So let's go ahead and look at that. Perfect. So you can go ahead and create a username and password for your admin user. OK, so I've created that. And we have our network all nice and set up. See, we have that there. Let's go ahead and look at that use case. So we have a NetMaker network here. We have an access key, and we can go ahead and add our machines into this network. So looking back over here, we want to add Frankfurt, London, and Singapore into this network. So we go to each of these guys, and actually, if we look at this, it'll tell us view net client install instructions. So it takes us over here. 
how do we install on Linux while we run these commands? So let's go over to these machines. We got Frankfurt. We've got London. We've got Singapore. Okay. So here, let's go ahead and run that. So it's joining the network and starting WireGuard. All right, we'll set up this guy. Starting WireGuard. Okay, let's take a look at that again. Now we've got two peers. Let's run it on here. Now we've got three peers, or we should. Yep. And so what we've created here is a virtual overlay network where all of these peers are communicating over a private network. And the power of that is you can treat it like a VPC as you would in, you know, DigitalOcean. You can see here, they're all connected into this one simple overlay. You look at these guys, they've each got private addresses and they've even got private DNS. So you could do a lookup like, let's say I want to ping my machine in Frankfurt from London. So I can say, ping frankfurt.netmaker. And you can see it's communicating over that private address. Very nice. Okay. So then there's one other thing we want to do, which is allow access to this database here. So right now it's only accessible from Singapore because it's in the Singapore region. So where does this machine live? Okay, so this is the address within the VPC, 10.104.0.6. So how can we access that? Well, we use a thing called an egress gateway. So if we do a look up here, we can see we've got this ETH1 interface, which connects to this 10.104 network. So let's go here. In Singapore, we're gonna create an egress gateway to this address, which is a slash 32 on ETH1. We create that. And now we have this available from our other networks. So we should be able to, from our Frankfurt, for example. Now we can't know this address, but we can put in our private address there. And there we go, we have a connection to our database. So I'm in Frankfurt, connected to a Singapore database over the VPC network in Singapore. So it doesn't have to be exposed publicly to access it. The connection is actually going through our Singapore droplet, if you take a look there. So what happens is this Singapore droplet acts as a gateway to reach the Singapore database. And that's the power of NetMaker. So we've created this multi-region overlay network that can access resources across these regions. So Go ahead and get started today. The droplet takes five minutes to install. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.